Now, some people are saying, Francis, you want me to mentor someone, but I'm just one tiny little person in the world of that person. Mm -mm. Maybe to that person, you are the whole world to him or her. Just imagine this. Don't you feel so grateful because of that significant person in your life who impacted you the way he did? I'm the result of a mentor. And that's why I'm mentoring other people too. Christian churches know that principle. We just call it mentoring. You call it discipleship, isn't it? That's the key. It's so important. If only Filipinos will know this is so important that we have to reach out and mentor other people, we would be a better nation so that we would be less selfish. Right? Mentoring. All successful people, whether in business or in profession, are in agreement that skills and breaks and opportunities can propel you to the top, but only integrity can keep you there. I have seen a lot of people who, has, who have risen to the top of their ladder of success, proverbially speaking, because of their talents and skills, but only to collapse because of their lack of character. Lagi kong kilalang ganon. People would naturally gravitate to leaders who exhibit a high sense of integrity. The only way for this organization, the only way for this business, the only way for this enterprise, the only way for this family to be successful in the long haul is when it is founded on believable, believability and credibility. In other words, integrity. There can be no long-lasting success without integrity, period. And this is what I remind myself all the time. My children and my people in the workplace, they behave the same way. They may not believe 100% I say, but they certainly believe 100% they see me do. Talk matches what? Walk. Life matches lips. They got to be consistent process and channel the procedure of going through the going through the whole thing so that you enhance your moments of rewards and pleasure 